Hello and welcome to this click tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to show you how you can put your action list onto your template. It will also cover how you create the action list as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into settings, settings and then action list and this is where you can create your action list. Now an action list might be a couple of tasks that you want your engineer to do whilst they're on site and you can do that by asking them questions or just giving them tick boxes. So the first thing we need to do is go to new action list and we can put in a short code and description. Okay, so now we have a short code and description. The next thing you need to do is do add root item. You'll have three options. One is add new standard item, which is basically a tick box. And the other is add new question, which is asking a question which will then be followed by some answers. The last one is add existing action list. Now this is if you do already have action list and you want to put it on top of another one. In this case we don't have it. So I'm just going to go to add new question and I'm going to put in a question. So once you've got your question, it's then time to put in an answer. So if we select that particular question and go add item to selected, you can add answer. So in this instance, I'm going to put in yes and a no answer. So again, I just select it, add item to selected, add answer, click on no, there we go. So again, you can go further than this. You can decide if they answer this question, it leads to another question. It leads to a tick box, anything like that. Okay. So it can be as big as you want and you can create as many different action lists as you like as well. So the next thing we need to do is make sure it's available in modules. So we want it in the job sheet because the template we're going to show you is a job sheet template. So I'm going to just tick that and say, okay. And I'm going to click okay again and then just click on yes to save that action list. So now we need to put that on the template. So we need to open up the template editor. And to do that, we just go to tools and print template editor. And this will bring in the print template editor. So if we've designed a template for you, you would have received it via email and you would have saved it somewhere, maybe your documents folder, and then you'll need to import it. So to import that file, you just go to import at the top here and it will go to your documents folder but you can also navigate around Windows if it's saved anywhere else. But I'm going to select the click template dot click for one and click open. And that will open the template that we have done for you. You can obviously just open up your normal templates and follow this to put your action list on as well. So to where I'm going to put this action list is basically in here, which is where the action list is. And to just, I just highlight it and I just double click on it and it will allow me in. So this is the table properties of this action list. Now, if we've designed it for you, all your tables will be set up. It's just you need to choose the action list that it's appropriate for. So if I go to table name, we'll now see that action list. Next, we'll see columns. So we can see all the columns. They're all in there. They should be in there. Description, answer, comments. You can change some styles and borders if you wish. But if you're happy with that and you're happy with the design, just choose the table name and click OK. OK, so now we need to save that template and we're going to print off a job sheet to see what it's done. So we're going to save that template and we're going to save it to the module jobs. So category job, click OK. And we're going to go back to click four. So if we go into a job and we just double click on that, we're going to go to the tab action list. Now I'm going to click on new and I'm going to apply an action list to this job sheet. So there it is and press OK. I'm just going to answer a few questions, answer the question. So have you checked the gas? Yes. I might put in some comments as well. So check the gas, anything you want really. So you can put anything in there and I'm going to save that. So now if I print off this job sheet, print, and now I'm going to select the template. So click template and click OK. So now you'll see you've got your action list in there. Have you checked the gas? Yes. Notes, check gas. Now that is how you apply action lists to your template. Thank you very much for listening.